And now, Storm Tracker Weather with meteorologist Eric Ash. Central Mountains, mostly sun, very dry up towards the northern portion of our portion of Idaho that we talk about all the time. Now, the closer you get south, and most activity will be confined south of the Snake River Plain with those isolated dry, high-based thunderstorms. Other than that, mostly sunny. For the eastern highlands, again, just the southern portions will have those isolated afternoon thunderstorms. Not expecting a whole lot of precipitation. Very windy yesterday, not expecting winds like that today. We're looking at 10s and 20s miles per hour and afternoon gusts into the mid-30s. Okay, let's talk about yesterday. Yesterday's temperatures, very close to seasonable norms. Pocatello had a high 92. It's still a little bit above average. Average is 90. Idaho Falls, 91 over 88. Now we are going to be warming from here. Uh, not as hot as um, Sunday, but we are getting to another hot weekend like we had this previous weekend. And as we get closer to the weekend, we just deviate that much further from the seasonable norms. So we are getting close to records again. Not, not as um, significantly uh, rising as we were expecting last week, looking ahead to the weekend, but we are in a warming trend again this week. Today, Snake River Plain, mostly sun. Any activity of that active weather will be confined to that southern border. I'll talk about that in a second. Pocatello and Idaho Falls both have a high of 93. Most of the region, low 90s or the upper 80s. For the Central Mountains, mostly sun, very dry. The further north you get into this portion of Idaho, the whole eastern half of Idaho, western Wyoming. Highs for the Central Mountains, mostly in the 80s, 90 for Arco, Chalice, 92. Hidden East, Eastern Highlands, Western Wyoming. Partly cloudy throughout this neck of the woods. Any active weather will be confined south of the Snake River Plain and towards uh, the Wyoming area in that southern manner. Moving west to east, strongest and most likely in the afternoon for some isolated thunderstorms, high based, dry, not expecting a lot of precipitation, if any at all. Tonight, Snake River Plain, mostly clear, lows mostly in the 50s. St. Anthony, Pocatello, sandwiching everything in between. Central Mountains, mostly clear. Overnight lows, low 50s and into the 40s as well. Stanley, 38. Eastern Highlands, partly cloudy, that lingering moisture from the, the flow that is coming in and the activity towards the south will have some uh, clouds to remain throughout the evening. Overnight lows, 40s, a little bit in the low 50s. Driggs, Soda Springs are in the low 50s. Now, Southeast Idaho, Chevy Dealer, seven day forecast, Pocatello, again, just a few days of dry, not expecting a whole lot of activity. Any activity throughout the week will be confined to the southern portion of Idaho. Again, a hot weekend, another triple digit day on Sunday, looking at 100 degrees. Idaho Falls, once more, a warming trend, getting very close to 100. Maybe that will change to 100 in the next day or two. Saturday and Sunday, 99 degrees. Very hot. Rexburg, warming trend. Dry for the next few days. Much more likely to be drier with very little activity the further north we go because we have that band of moisture for the next few days moving west to east, south towards the Utah border. Most moisture and activity will be confined in the Great Basin area. Central Mountains, dry, a little bit of thin clouds, another hot weekend, mid 90s. For the Teton area, just Tuesday and Wednesday, maybe Thursday might change. Afternoon, isolated thunderstorms, very little precipitation, just a chance of a lightning bolt. Just be safe during those times.